Good morning, everybody. My name is Asha Wilkerson, and I am an attorney and also business coach and uh, have a membership community for specifically um, focusing on the needs of BIPOC entrepreneurs called Transcend. There's a link to that in my bio if you want more information. But I just wanted to jump on this morning um, to talk about the kind of advice that you should pay for, right? Um, I A couple days ago, I went on, I don't know if you could call it a rant, but it was just talking about like, you know, the things that we should pay for. Because sometimes we um, we feel like we should be able to get something for a discount. I do that too, right? Or we should just be able to figure it out for ourselves. And, you know, that kind of stuff makes sense. And I started thinking about in situations, there are certain situations where I am worth paying for the service, the advice, the thing, right? Um, and so some of those situations I feel like are in business, right? I'm worth paying for an attorney to advise me how to do something. I'm, I am, my business is worth paying for an accountant to help me with my taxes, right? That's not the same as like, oh, I'm worth it, so let me go get my nails done. Maybe, like do that too, right? But there are definitely certain shortcuts that you shouldn't take in business and there are things that are worth paying for. And, um, you know, it's the accounting and the business and the legal advice that I think are definitely uh, those things that are important. And here's the reason why. Accountants or enrolled agents with the IRS, attorneys, um, just like medical doctors, acupuncturists, they have a license that is always at risk. So if I give you bad legal advice, and it's below the industry standard, you have some recourse to go to the state bar and say, I didn't act professionally, I gave you bad advice, um, and that protects you, right? But if you just go to your friend down the street or the business owner that you know around the corner and they give you bad advice, they don't. Have, there's no recourse. Like, oops, my bad, sorry, hope you work it out, right? So that's the thing about not just free, right? It's not just about free, but it's about going to the expert, the person who can actually help you, who has some real skin in the game, right? So again, if if an, if an accountant or an enrolled agent with the IRS is giving you advice and uh, let's say they mess up, either one of those people can represent you in front of the IRS, which is huge to help correct whatever mistake, mistakes that they made. There's also malpractice insurance that if they make a mistake, right? But like your friend, the person who's been, your auntie who's been doing, you know, her husband's books in the business since 1942, unless, you know, she might know what she's doing, but if she happens to make a mistake, again, mistake, not intentionally, there's no, like, what's the recourse, right? So I'm just... Talking about that because I think that there are certain things in business that are really important to pay for and other things that you can, you know, you can read a book, you can ask people and you don't, because the impact of what they're telling you is not going to be sort of life or death for your business. So just think about that. So um, today inside Transcend, which is my business community, um, we're doing office hours. So all of the members inside Transcend come on the third Thursday of the month with all of their questions and we sit around and we talk about them and I answer them from my attorney perspective. And a friend of mine, uh, Rue, who is an enrolled agent with the IRS, will be here to answer accounting and tax questions. So there is this community, this ecosystem of experts, right? that are there, we are invested in seeing you survive and thrive, not only because we want you to survive and thrive, but also our licenses depend on seeing our um, clients and stuff do really well. So legal and tax advice, you should definitely pay for, definitely go to the experts and get the information that you need. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions or if you're interested uh, in uh, joining Transcend, there's a link in my bio or you can hit me up um, to let me know. It's a really dope group of entrepreneurs. Uh, so far, all women, but men are welcome as well. And uh, we are really focusing on service-based businesses. So if you have a service-based business, then we are the go-to place for your entrepreneurship needs. All right, I'll holla at you soon. I hope you have a great week. Ciao.